Good morning, Plaza Tigers. Today is a red day and it is May 9th. Bye, I'm going to gear up. Wait, no. But it's National Gear Up Day. Uh, okay. Now let's pass it on over to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's see what the birthdays are. Today we have Raham A. the Phoenix and no staff birthdays. Let's see what the birthday pencil is doing. The birthday pencil is flying with flamingos. I didn't know that they could fly. Neither can I. We learned something new today. <laughs> Thank you, Riley Jackson, for the pledge. Um, gee, I'm so hungry. Well, for lunch today, we have an awesome burger, smothered pepper jack enchiladas, and for the premium meal, we have spicy chicken filet sandwich. For sides, we have broccoli with cheese sauce, sweet potato crinkle cut fries, and birthday Rice Krispie treat. Kate, what are you doing? I'm going to softball practice. No, but speaking of softball, the, Spark, the Park Hill softball team is hosting a skills camp this summer. Get your form on the front at the front office. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, I just got the chills. I'm freezing. What's, what's the weather today? Let's ask Mr. Brown. Tuesday game. That's everybody's favorite game to play on uh, Tuesday. This week's Clue Traveling Contaminator. Yeah, there's a lot of syllables going on there. Weather's beautiful today. 64 degrees on the way up to like 85 degrees. We have a, a cold front moving in. Later tonight, rain into Thursday, all Thursday, but then back to beautiful weather for the weekend, 70s and 80s. Love it. Love the May weather. All right. Joke of the day. Yes. Why did the lion spit out the clown? It's kind of dark. Uh, because he tasted funny. Oh, J. Crew, look at you go with your funny jokes. Uh, weather today was brought to you by Flamingos. There they go. All right, so this week's was Traveling Contaminator. I got nothing on this one. Really? All right. Lots of drums? answers coming in. Can I say drums? Uh, oh, correct answer is commuter, polluter. Oh. I know, it's a three-syllable one. I love it. Um, okay, so... Sydney was first incorrect. She said transportation vaccination, which would be a really good clue for a future Tuesday game. Um, moving, grooving, no, Milky. Um, radiation, rotation, not bad, Katie Jones. Um, moving, patrolling, no. Exploring, adoring, I love that rhyme, no, Albert. Uh, in connection, infection, Carter, that was an awesome one. Exploring chlorine, Shad, that's good, they're all wrong. Commuter polluter, finally, Carson Bender from Mrs. Mulcahy's home base. All right, Carson Bender, nicely done. Commuter polluter. You guys gave me some great clues for future games. Uh, however, you're all wrong, except Carson. I'm out of here, Dr. Ivy's going to um, bring you great news. Have a good Tuesday, see ya enlightening information that didn't rhyme but um okay so yesterday we had our last evacuation drill which was the passing time drill and you guys did really well so thank you for 
following our expectations on our evacuation drills. Today, we're doing a severe weather drill. We've held off on this. We've had it scheduled about four times, but we, don't, we didn't hold it because the weather had been bad. And so we don't want anyone to think that it's um, not a drill. So it's sunshiny and beautiful out. And so today we're gonna do our severe weather drill um, this morning. Teachers, Ms. Pascal sent you an email about that. So please double check, especially if you have a substitute on your team, so everybody's ready and we'll run that drill this morning. Uh, another reminder, meeting with the PAWS volu parent volunteers, and we're working on um, all the activities associated with PAWS. I'll give, be able to give you an update. Some of you are not making the best decisions when it comes to getting marks on your tracker, and that's going to reduce the number of tokens you are able to earn. So you really have to, you know, just push hard and say, I can do this and have a lot of self-control in the next couple of weeks so that you can enjoy our event on uh, May 24th. The other thing I had some questions from kids about were yearbooks. Um, the yearbooks are not in yet, so um, we won't be passing them out. We don't actually pass them out till the 19th, so next Friday. You still can purchase these. You need to come to the office. They're $15. Um, come and get yours before they get sold out. So please make sure that if you haven't purchased one or if you're not sure if you've purchased one, we do have a um, Google Doc that shows everyone who's on there who has purchased. So just a couple friendly reminders. Then this Friday, we have our lip dub. And again, if you are choosing to not have good behavior where I'm not able to trust you just in the hallways during passing time, your role in the lip dub will not look the same um, as though you were doing all the things that I expect you to do by the end of seventh gra or sixth grade because you're almost a seventh grader. So I've had some talks with kids about not who aren't wearing their lanyards. And I'm like, you know what? I'll call your seventh grade principal and we'll set up a plan because by the end of sixth grade, you should be wearing your lanyard and having your ID badge. So please make sure that you're doing all those things that are expected of you so that we can enjoy these activities um, at the end of this week and next week and the last week of school. All right, have a terrific Tuesday, Plaza Tigers. Thank you, Mr. Brown, for the weather. What are you doing? I'm driving. Oh, since it's the last week of study lab and math lab, there are no intramural buses. So I have to get my own ride. Oh, thanks for the information. Remember, we have lift up practice today and Thursday. Make sure you bring your costume on Thursday. Remember, the actual lift up is on Friday, so be ready. Now let's drop a marble in the door and make today count. It's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a tiger. tiger.